Scooby-Doo and Kiss, Rock and Roll Mystery. It's a feature film from 2015. This is directed by Spike Brand and Tony Cravone and is written by Kevin Shinnick. And I wasn't sure how much I'd enjoy this because I don't care about Kiss. I don't dislike them. I'm just not into their music. But actually, that part of it didn't bother me. I was able to follow what the characters were doing. I didn't necessarily need any additional knowledge. Obviously, if I were a Kiss fan, it would appeal to me more. I'd probably connect with certain aspects more. But the point there is that you don't need to be a Kiss fan to follow this or enjoy this. Did I enjoy it? For the most part, but it went in a direction in the final third that I didn't like. It makes it unrealistic. I won't say too much about this, but I prefer the Scooby films where they could actually happen, where the mysteries could actually play out the way they're presented in real life without more fantasy elements brought into it. And this went off in, in that kind of direction. So I didn't love it. But in general, I enjoyed it for the most part. And the main reason I liked it is the animation. The Kiss characters, who are voiced by themselves, do look amazing. The animation there is fantastic. And the animation of the amusement park, this is set at an amusement park, is fabulous. And I absolutely love that. I thought it was very well done. I love theme parks and amusement parks in animation. I think they're so fun. And Kiss World was just wonderfully designed. Absolutely loved that. And we do, of course, have our antagonist, Crimson Witch. Crimson Witch has a really good design. The character will never be my favourite Scooby villain, but I did like the design of Crimson Witch. I thought the character worked really well. So, although not a personal favourite, absolutely no complaints there either. And while I didn't like the direction the narrative went in, it was still well written. It still made sense within the context of the film, so it's definitely not badly written. It just wasn't completely what I enjoy. We have some pretty good music, which I'm assuming is music from Kiss, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about there. I don't know if it was music that pre-existed or music written for the film. If anybody wants to provide some information on that, please feel free to do so. So needless to say, Scooby-Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery seems to take all of the right boxes. It's never going to be my personal favourite and I doubt I'd ever watch it again. But actually, I enjoyed it more than I thought I might and it's beautifully animated. The narrative is, is, is well written. Yes, not completely to my personal tastes, but I still can't fault it. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. If you're a Scooby fan, it's worth checking out. Even if you're not a Kiss fan like me, I was still able to enjoy it. I'd love to know what you think of it though if you are a big Kiss fan. Did it meet your expectations? Did they interpret the characters well? I'm assuming since they were obviously voicing their own characters, they would have some say if things didn't feel right, but I have no idea if that's true or not. But either way, I personally enjoyed it. And if it sounds like something that might appeal to you, if you're a Scooby fan and you haven't seen it, Scooby-Doo and Kiss, Rock and Roll Mystery is one that's worth watching.